So we did that video on trailer heat the other day and we had a lot of comments asking about what else is in the trailer. So we're gonna give you a little tour of what I've got in my trailer. Digit nine. <laughs> Woo! That motion light comes on when you drive up on your snowmobile and then you can see the door. It's such a cool feature. That's of course is an add-on. So I did have a 34 foot Trails West, like a Brant special trailer, a gooseneck trailer. It fit five sleds nice. It had all the stuff in there. It was too big for me. I ended up going to the mountains uh, by myself a lot to meet people because of my days off. So I was always going by myself. I had my two sleds in there. It was just too big. So I wanted something smaller. So I ended up finding this trailer. It was only 13 grand. It's an all aluminum trailer. Um, it's, it's a little higher than the other one, so it doesn't bottom out as much. I can still haul three sleds in here, and I put a deck on the truck, so I can haul another two as well. So I can still haul as many, but I got a lot more diversity. So I can go to more places. I can unload the sleds, throw them on the deck if I want, stuff like that. It just gives you a little more freedom. So nobody can accuse me of being a finished carpenter. I, uh, I mounted these cabinets in I got from Lowe's and I didn't want them to fall off the walls so I stabilized them with some wood. I was going to build a nice aluminum frame for them but just haven't got around to it. It's doing the job so I just haven't got around to fixing it up. It looks okay, it should need some paint but it's doing the job, it works, it's fine. Got some more cabinets here from, uh, from Canadian Tire. They're cheap. They work. They're actually fairly strong. Uh, you go buy the fancy ones at the trailer stores. They're like five times the money. They don't even have a back to them. Uh, they're harder to mount. Um, but these work just fine. Nice cheap toolbox. Keeps all my tools in. Yeah, no, you don't want to look in there. I have to clean this up. What in the fuck do you have in there? I know, a lot of tons of shit. Don't even look in there. Okay. Buddy of mine was throwing a heater out. He figured it was buggered, it was just the motor. Uh, like a $1,500 heater out of his big uh, fancy trailer. He gave it to me, I switched the motor. A good little backup system in here in case it's really cold. And I turn it on, heats it up in here real quick. But I'm running the, the uh, bunk heater from Amazon that we're running in here. It's nice, it's 10 degrees in here. It's perfect, it's minus 10 outside, 12. It's keeping a nice temperature in here. Sleds are warm, they're happy. Um, you can get these things just about at any trailer place. Uh, you put all your liquids, your propane, whatever you need in there. It's got lots of shelves, your oil. Nice little workbench, it's fairly sturdy. Of course, let's have a party. Of course, we have lots of coat hangers in here. Um, dry off all your gear. Uh, works good. I put in the uh, the easy glides on the floor, that was my doing. I also mounted my table and chairs on the wall. Uh, we have the barbecue for the end of the day. Nothing like frying up some food during the day. That broom, by the way, is a switch broom that you can get at Acklands. Works great for cleaning the ice off your back door. Everybody should have that in their trailer. Uh, you can look at the top, it's got a nice little ice chipper on there. It's great for ice on your back door. Another good feature of this trailer is it's got a wide spread on the axles and they're in the middle of the trailer. So it doesn't matter if I put the sleds in backwards or forwards, put three in here or two, the tongue weight basically stays the same. It's a little heavier with three, but with two you can put them front to back, back to front, and it doesn't affect the pull a whole lot or the bounce with the, with the tongue weight. That's kind of neat. It's a little harder to turn because of the big spread. So what I'm talking about the spread of the trailer guys, is this the axle spread on the trailer. So this is like a four foot spread. Some other trailers are three, some are two. Um, this has got a really big spread on it. If you take a look at these other trailers and the other axle setups, they don't have a whole lot of spread. So what that does is the trailer bounces more and gives you a little rougher ride. My biggest point was I wanted the door at the front of the trailer. So you're not stepping over your sleds. My freaking door is in the front, guys. I got these great big long mountain climbers. They're 13 feet long. The tips of the skis or the back of the sled is behind the door. So I can still walk in, 
put my gear wherever I want, fix something on my bench, whatever I want to do. And I still have lots of room. I'm not stepping over my sled. That's a huge feature for me. So as you can see, guys, I took that other the cat out. It gives us plenty of room in this trailer. We've still got two sleds in here. The door is wide open. We're not fumbling over anything. You're not in and out over your sled. I can still go in and out like a dam. How y'all doing out there? Love it! It's not the fanciest trailer. I don't think it's uh, one of the best built trailers, but it, it works for me. Also, that bigger trailer limits to you where you can go. You're stuck with all the busy parking lots. You can't take it up a trail. So I managed to sell that big trailer for more than what I paid for it because they're in such high demand. So then I ended up buying this trailer. I bought a brand new snowmobile this kitty cat right here and I put a deck on my truck I can haul just as many sleds I can go more places and it's lighter it just works for me it's way better I love it have you guys even subscribed yet make sure you subscribe guys cut